Hello and welcome everyone back to the Powder Toy, and today I am announcing that I have finally perfected Nehonium, and yeah, I named it properly this time. That's right, we're getting down to business. Next episode we're going to make some new elements and uh, work on our life stuff a bit more, but I figured I'd wrap up Nehonium because I've had a lot of episodes, but it hasn't really felt right. Uh, there's always been issues with it. So let me show you what I've done and why it's more awesome and exciting and useful. First off, when it doesn't have anything to transfer heat to and it breaks down, now it lets out a ton of <laughs> neutrons along the way. It kind of goes off like fireworks. Um, I, I really like the effect and I think that uh, the amount of neutrons makes it very useful for starting, for example, a bomb. A bomb. Bomb now. I, I think it may actually ha oh. I forgot, uh, uh, pressurize it. Ooh! <laughs> ah, yeah, it, it's a little bit evolved now, okay? It does, it does a good amount of damage, right? It's beautiful. Very nice. Um, there are obviously ways it's not perfect, but I'm, I'm I'm much happier with how it works now. Um, I think especially using some strategery, you can get some really good effects out of it. Like, for example, if we do the old plutonium in the center uh, bomb design, where we go ahead, do something like this, look at the effectiveness. Ooh, plasma wave, <laughs> plasma wave, plasma wave, oh boy, it is just a very effective weapon. I mean, it already was, but now it's like more so. You can make bombs out of it and they don't suck. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the actual like, like big changes. So if we go ahead and get a plate of just titanium before it would stop uh it would murder itself but because of new constraints on when it's allowed to murder itself we have some some better results so as i wanted it to it will actually continue melting through an object until it hits the bottom runs out of things to transfer heat to and turns into a beautiful fireworks display of neutrons Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. So let's go ahead and get our uh, bunker city for testing purposes because it's it's the bunker city. That's what I test like everything on. Now let's go ahead and just put a little bit down on this building here and see what happens. How exciting. It's always better when ambient heat is off because it's able to uh, give its heat off. Oh, I have to make a little container. It'll just fall. Okay, let's make a little container for it. There we go. All right, so we got our Nehonium. It's broken into the building. It's going down floor by floor. This is all expected. We're getting a few neutrons out of it. Not, not super surprising. This is basically how you'd expect it to go with this stuff. It continues breaking through the floors. Do, do, do. <laughs> Do do do, and now it's at the bottom floor of the building. So that little amount managed to make it through the building, and it's still alive down here. It's just doing its thing, heating everything up. And look, because it's so heavy, it's actually made it through the concrete floor, and now it's starting to make its way into the underground, where it's heating things up very, very much. <laughs> uh. All right, it's beginning to melt through the floor. Um, this isn't super surprising considering, you know, <laughs> now it's starting to melt through the subfloor. Um, the building has been kind of torched, but the damage to the rest of the city is actually pretty minimal at this point. Like, you don't have to set off a massive bomb. You just, you just put the Nehonium where you want to breach a bunker. It's starting to push through the actual protective layers. These ones are the most challenging to make it through, so we will see if it succeeds. The heat on this bad boy... Oh, this is filling up the, the tube that's supposed to be full of insulator is now burning and filling up with uh, 
molten brick and honium, which obviously is not something you want in your insulation. It's kind of the opposite of insulation. This spot here is now at 9, 10,000 degrees. I mean, you can't really get much hotter. <laughs> Uh, but will it breach? That's the question. I mean, it is burning away everything rather efficiently. Uh, we'll just remove this building because it's not supported by anything anymore. At this point, it's starting to uh, affect the diner because literally everything underground is beginning to melt. Just the amount of energy it's letting out is insane. But what you'll notice is, unlike before, it's still going at it. The biggest issue with the, the Nihonium before was that it actually would, uh, it would die way too fast, making it ineffective for doing anything extremely fun. But this, this version, it's out for blood. And I mean, we only used a tiny bit. If we just added a tiny bit more, <laughs> just a little bit more, I mean, it just goes insane. <laughs> It's, it's extremely insane. I mean, down here it's actually starting to fizzle because it's all Nihonium and super, super, super hot. And that fizzling may actually manage to break through this insulated layer right here. This is the tough part to get through, um, this insulation, because it requires a gap in order for air to catch the insulation on fire, uh, which means we actually do need something to happen. Uh, Pressure-wise, or we could just delete one pixel. And after deleting that one pixel, you'll see it very easily makes it through. I have to make it work with insul- maybe I'll make it so that it eats through insulation. That'd make it a little bit more exciting. But with just a tiny breach through the insulation, we can see the full devastating effects. Uh, because it doesn't stop, and it's heavy. So it will go into the bunker happily. Happily enter that bunker, flow through everything, go into the floor, and because the bunker is made of metal, that's going to transfer the heat extremely easily, causing the entire thing to fall apart rather quickly. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I just want to say that Nihonium is the new, the new uh, plutonium bomb, you know? This is way cooler though, because you really don't have to do much, and it'll just continue ravaging everything in the area. There is no stopping it. Um, well, yeah, no, there is no stopping it. <laughs> the only way to stop it is... T okay, okay, so, so realistically you can contain it and uh, kill it. Um, let me show you how. <sighs> this is the only way I know of to do it. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, a gravity pump. I think, I think this is the most effective way to do it. If we make a gravity field that holds it in away from everything else, it should kind of just fizzle out and die. And this would give you an idea for how to make a reactor using it. Oh, look at that. That is a neat effect you get. Oh. Oh. Okay, I need to turn off sharding so that this looks a little bit neater. Where's the sharding? Uh, gravity lensing. Look at that, it kind of looks like a galaxy. Oh. It gets very, very warm. So this is what it looks like if you were to build a, a Nihonium reactor, which I'm sure would be very, very, very awesome. But, um... I think that looks really cool. Look at it. It really does kind of look like a galaxy, and I think that's because we have vertical uh, gravity on. If I turn that off, I think it'll... It'll turn into more of a... No, it still goes left and right. Interesting. But you'll notice that even though it's letting out a ton of neutrons and fizzling, it's not damaging the edges because it's not touching the edges. If we were to turn on ambient heat, though, I don't think this would last very long. I'll be honest. Um, well, ambient heat allows it to actually be used for a generator because you could have, like, water going on the outside trying to cool it off. But I don't think that's going to be fast enough. <laughs> Oh man, look at it go. 
Ah, uh, brilliant. We have created a star. Mmm, wonderful. Speaking of stars, why don't we go back to our Earth map with a new version of Nihonium and see uh, what we can do. I mean, let's just put a little bit on the moon, see what happens. Oh, this has ambient heat on, so this may actually take a little bit. Okay, let's put a little bit more. There we go. Like, waiting 10 seconds to melt the entire moon is way too much for me. I have places to be, things to do. It needs to be more powerful than that. There we go, all right. The moon has already melted, and the moon is hitting insane temperatures now. I mean, if you remember, it's kind of a runaway reaction. After it gets hotter, it gets hotter at a faster pace. It's an exponential function. So, I mean, the moon is going to just hit absolutely stupid temperatures. <laughs> And the Nihonium will last as long as it has somewhere to put its heat, which means an ambient heat mode, I don't think it's really going to die. And now this brilliant heat is about to hit the uh, planet, which is very nice. Uh, D for debug, there we go, we can see the ambient heat now. Thousands of degrees of ambient heat are about to smack into the planet. <laughs> thousands of degrees here let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit we'll put a fan yay hmm <laughs> I'm sure earth isn't a fan of that <laughs> get it oh it must actually be fizzling some of it because we're getting neutrons coming out how hot are the neutrons uh, the neutrons are 3,000 degrees that's impressive that's very impressive the ambient heat is starting to smack into the surface. And, uh, you know, it's exactly what you would expect. It's just melting the surface away. Very exciting. Very exciting indeed. So, I think, I think that's cool, but what we really wanted to see, obviously, is what happens if we put it on the planet itself. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm sure absolutely nothing could go wrong. A ab absolutely nothing. We'll put it... Okay, so first we'll do a test of putting it, like, on the surface. We'll put it in this pyramid. The aliens set a, set a bomb to kill the humans. How sad. Because we all know that aliens made the pyramids. Alright, alright. So it's melting down to the core, the core of the planet. It's making good time as well. Uh, well, I'm pretty fast. And now the core of the planet is full of Nihonium. Uh, the core of the planet is beginning to uh, melt, which is good because because molten cores keep people alive by making a magnetic field, but it's bad because it's getting too hot and it's starting to just murder everything. As I said, starting to just murder everything. Um, it's very warm down there. Very warm indeed. Oh, actually, no, 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 it's not. Let me turn off ambient heat and then do this. It'll be much more rapid. <laughs> Trust me. Here we go. Ambient heat off. That, <laughs> that material is just going to the center of the Earth extremely quickly. It is on a mission. And look at it go. What? <laughs> look at it go. It's so happy turning the center of the Earth into magma I give it I give it 30 seconds until this entire planet is just a ball of lava do 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 I think we're at like 20 seconds left Ten, five, four, three, two, one. I think that my my guesstimation was pretty close. <laughs> Thirty seconds, give or take a little bit. I mean, things on the very edge aren't quite lava. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's liquefying. Very nice. Yeah, we liquefied the entire planet with like a an amount of honium equivalent to like a house. This stuff is nasty. It's really nasty, but it's also beautiful. 
because I, I think that there is a beauty in destruction. I think, what was that? Ah, uh, oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and test it on these buildings again. These were kind of fun. Just put a tiny amount in a building and uh, see what happens. All right, it's gonna break through the floors. It's gonna go into the elevator shaft. Ooh, poor elevator shaft. It, it never knew what hit it. Look at it just, it just warms everything up to a stupid, stupid degree. Literal degree. I'm using the word degree correctly there. This, you could assassinate someone with a single pixel of this. Just, just place it somewhere near them. They will just get irradiated and die. And then like, if you were to attack someone using it, the, the brilliant fireworks of, of neutrons and, and death, uh, glorious, absolutely glorious. So th that's it. And download, download coming soon. Once I have like my actual chair, because it hurts to sit on this piece of plastic. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Potatoes. Fun fact, when I'm recording, I, I have to shut off the AC, and it's 97 out, so you guys are gonna kill me. Congratulations. <laughs> to make up for that, you can like, like, subscribe, and comment. Charlotte agrees, that's what she just said, so... Uh, thank you! Hopefully soon the echo is sorted, and uh, I have an actual chair. That would be cool. Pretty based. Watch Spike IRL for updates, which may or may not come within like a week or so. Boom.